it would be um, probably, I don't know, 15, 16, 17 years ago, I got a, um, a phone call from Ed Morrissey. He was in Los Angeles, and he said, Bob, I'm with a guy that's reading your book. And I said, well, I know him. And he said, you don't really know him. No, he said, I do know him. And he said, then, if you know him, phone him. He didn't believe that Ed knew me. So anyway, Ed Morrissey phoned me, and he said, there's this guy who wants to talk to you. Well, I got on the phone with Phil Goldfein, and he said, whereabouts are you? He said, could I come and talk to you? And I said, yeah, if you want. He said, where are you? And I said, I'm in Vegas. Well, he said, I'm in L.A. He said, it won't take me long. How can, if I come over, can I talk to you? And I said, you sure can. Now, when he came to talk to me, I believe he had one client that he wasn't very happy with. I asked him how much money he was earning, and he lied to me. He said he was earning a quarter of a million. He later told me the truth. He said I was only earning about 200. I could pick not a lot of people, but there are a few that have done exactly what I've suggested. Now, I don't tell you what time to go to bed or what time to eat or something like that. But there are certain rules and goals that I know work because I use them myself. I've been using them for over 50 years. I see it happen. I see it happen every day. And I said, if you do exactly what I tell you, and then I started to ask him what he wanted. I said, I can show you how to get it. Now, I'm going to ask him to come up here and bring all this hardware up because this is not fantasy. This is the real deal. Here, let's set them all up here. I think they'll sit on this. Let me get this out of here. You all go on there. Thanks, Peggy. Now, I can get these on screen. What is this? Oh, can we get a mic? We got a mic? Sorry. Thanks, man. Okay. Oh. What is this one here? This one's the Golden Panda, the Chinese Academy Award. That's an Academy Award in China? Yes. And what's this? That's the Leo for British Columbia. Okay. And what do you get that for? That one was for uh, film. Film? Yeah. And this? That's the Emmy for television. And this? That Oscar. Oscar <laughs> for film. Oscar for film. Okay. Film, now, TV, film, film. There has been a ridiculously small number of people who've earned all these. What did you say, Tommy, the odds were? Do you happen to have those numbers? Of winning an Oscar? Yeah. Well, you're 3.8 time, 3.83 more times more likely to get struck by lightning. Yeah. <laughs> the point is, he didn't have any of this hardware when he flew to Vegas. He was earning $200,000 a year, and he was not happy with the client, but it, it was the only client. Right. And right. it wasn't a happy relationship. No, not at all. I never thought I would get that. Never. Now, I, I told Phil, I said, Phil, he, he started to tell me what he wanted. He said, I want to earn more money. And I said, how much do you want? He said, I want to earn millions. And I said, I can show you how to do that. I said, what else do you want? Well, he said, I'd like to win an Emmy. I said, I can show you how to do that. He said, I'd like to win an Oscar. I said, I can show you. Now, it sounded like this is pie in the sky. You say, it doesn't matter what he said. I can show you how to do it. Many, many years ago, Earl Nightingale said, if you can tell me what you want, I can show you how to get it. And I wondered, how can he say that? That's such a broad, bold statement. But I can say that. If you can tell me what you want, I can show you how to get it. 
The trick is, well, you do what you have to do to get it. And to see, the problem with most people is they don't want to do it. They want to shortcut it. They don't want to follow the directions. They want to do it their way. Now, I don't think I'm the smartest guy in the world by any stretch of the imagination. I don't think I have an ego problem. I think I do have an understanding of laws and how to incorporate them into our life. And I told Phil, I said, listen, everything you get, you're going to get exactly the same way. You're going to get, by gaining an understanding of the laws of your being, understand who you are, really understand who you are, getting super honest with you, and then follow specific directions at very tough times. There's been so many things changed in this man's life. Now, you'd know that with this kind of hardware. I got a text from him here, I don't know, a month, six weeks ago, where he asked me to go with him opening night, April the 12th, is it? April 23rd. He's opening Tootsie on Broadway. You probably end up with a Tony. You can get your ticket to take a master now. <laughs> so now you can add a Tony to this next April or next after next April. June or July. Yeah. Now, not many people will do what I suggest. Why did you do it, you think? I was out of options. I mean, then you knew what you were talking about. I read your you book. Know? I read your book, and it just resonated with me. Okay. And I just said, I'm just going to do whatever he says. And I still, I mean, to this day, I just do whatever you say. <laughs> no, I, I, re I really do. I mean, basically, my paradigm is really strong, too. I mean, it even gets to the point where my paradigm stops me from studying every day. And so I'll just text Bob, or I'll call Bob, and, and I'll, just, I'll just fight the paradigm. And so I still have to do it every single day, which is why I'm here. He has, do you have the gold cards with you? Yeah, they're down. Okay, hold on. I got a couple. Of them. Not a couple. Okay. okay. He phoned here. Um, again, we were in Vegas working. He phoned Gina and he said, could I come over and have dinner with you and Bob? And Gina phoned me and I said, yeah, absolutely. So we had dinner and, uh, at, the, um, at the Bellagio. Now, there's his goal cards he brought with him. There's a picture of them there on the, on the screen. I've got way more than that, too. There's Every goal box. card he's written, he's saved. And he has the goal card that he wrote in 214 here to win an Oscar. He's got the Oscar. Now, I could tell you a lot of stories about stuff like this. But I think Phil's one of the best. You see, this stuff... You don't just buy this. You don't get it because you know somebody. I mean, you've got to really perform. You've got to pay the price. How often in the, some real difficult things, there was one where there was going to be a big lawsuit, and I said, they won't sue you. Forget it. You know? Yeah. And I told you, I said, don't even worry about it. Don't think about it. You told me exactly what to do. You told me exactly what to write down. Exactly what we to wrote do. Out the affirmation. I said, bring <clears throat> that into your mind. And it went away. Completely. It went away exactly the way that you said it was going to go. There was a situation where he was going to do a movie in a particular place in Europe that wasn't very favorable to the star. He said, he won't go. And I said, he'll go. Just see him there. See yourself shooting the movie. And we built the image. The guy not only went, he wanted to move there. True story. Now, I'm not going to ask Phil what he's earning, but I know it's millions of dollars. How many movies did you make last year? Uh, last year, for 2018, we'll be at 12. What would you say is number two? Who would come close to you making movies? Oh, I don't even know. Um... How many movies would the average producer make in a year? Zero. I mean, basically, the average producer makes one maybe every three years, every four years. And you made how many last year? Twelve. Twelve last year. I deserve them, man. Yeah. 
this man pays the price. Now, there's people in the room that are paying the price, and you're doing it at something. But there's no free ride. There's no free lunch. Yet you need help, and you've got to follow direction. I know I'm not smart enough to accomplish anything on my own. I know I'm not. So I rely on really good people. Like I could talk about Gina. Gina is a genius. Yet she's worked for me for over 30 years. We get some phenomenal people in our company. You need phenomenal people. You have done an absolutely phenomenal job, Paul. You really have. How, how often, like, how do you get yourself to do it? Like, I'm going to ask these people to study certain things and do certain things. We're going to give you a journal, and it is absolute genius. It's so simple. It's so simple that anyone here that follows it, I guarantee you, a year from now, you will have doubled whatever your income or whatever. Everything will change that dramatically. It's a simple step you have to follow each day, okay? You do these things. How long did it take you to get into the habit of it? Um, well, I, I really wanted it, so I just started right away. No, wait a minute. You didn't want, you wanted what? You wanted it, what? I wanted success. I wanted more money. Yeah, I especially wanted more money at the time. Yeah. And you said, just do this and do this. So I just did it. And then I joined your coaching program, and you were really clear. You probably don't even remember, but you said, now I'm going to count on everybody in this program to do exactly what we're talking about. And we would have these, these weekly calls, I think with you, or, or maybe it was once a month, and everybody was afraid to disappoint you, so everybody just did it, <laughs> whatever it was. And we were really successful. Um, so you just do it. You, you just do whatever you say. Now, but, but I'm being serious. I mean, I, I don't know how else to, see, to put it. That, if you will do what we suggest in this, in this seminar, you will get results that are shocking. The reason I asked Phil to come, because it's, this is very, very unusual. First of all, to get one of these is really an accomplishment. To get the, all of these, it's almost unbelievable. Thank you, Phil. Now, you will be tempted to even not pay attention at part of the seminar. And I'll ask you to do something. You may be busy talking about something uh, that's going on in politics or something in your family or something like that. It's very difficult to stay focused. But that is really the trick, is to stay focused on where you're going and study. Understand that's the only way to get there is to study. Study is essential. What we need is understanding. Solomon said, no, you're getting get understanding. The only way to get understanding, there's only one way, and that's through study. Now, there's many different forms of study, but you've got to study. You are where you are because of your level of awareness or your understanding. As you raise that, everything changes. See, what Phil did, he gained an understanding of what he had to do to accomplish a goal. This became a goal. These became goals. A goal is an idea. You take an idea. You take pure, unadulterated thought that comes into your consciousness, and you form an idea with it. You internalize that idea. You become one with the idea. It's like Adler, the great psychologist from Vienna. He said, I am grateful to the idea that has used me. That's what you're here for. You're here to do God's work. God's work is creation. You're to create. Now, we're, we're, we're loaded with talent. We're loaded with power. If we follow right direction, we're going to get to where we're going. You do that in your car. Sometimes you don't follow the right direction, so you don't get there. And then you find out you're lost, and you spend a long time trying to get back on track. But if you stay on track, you end up with the prize. You've done phenomenal. Well, Give you. this guy a big hand. Thank you. Thank you. You can get this after. Yeah.